J-Flight 28BHBE here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. That's a bunkhouse with a bathroom entry door. This is a monstrously successful selling floor plan from the number one selling brand of travel trailer out there. The J-Flight is by far and away the number one selling travel trailer on the market. So why? Why is that? That's what this video is about. Keep in mind, it is my opinion, every RV is the best for different reasons, even the ones I don't sell, sadly. I wish that wasn't true, but I do believe it is. So I'm going to show you the areas I think a Jayco is superior, and uh, I think by and large, according to their sales record, most people agree with me. So we have not only just a power awning here, but it's a higher grade power awning. It's stronger, it's faster, um, it uh, you know moves quicker, it lasts longer, and we also have this cool LED light strip at the base of the awning, and it's flipping on and off because it comes with this cool little remote control system right here. Um, this remote control system can operate your, your super slide, your awning. It can do just about anything. How cool is this? You can stand right here, have this thing in your pocket, and run your awning. It does just about everything. What I like about it is on the opposite side of the trailer, if you're setting up this camper alone, and maybe there's something that uh, uh, could uh, collide with the slide out if you put it out, one person can walk around here with this remote control. You can personally, one guy, line of sight this thing when you run the slide in and out. It is very cool, and in this segment of travel trailers, it is unique. I am not aware of anyone else with a product like this. Um, if you uh, take a look here, you're going to see a couple things. Not only do we have diamond plate, but we got a ton of it. They've extended their diamond plate down or wrapped it around the frame, and they can do that because Jayco has an integrated A-frame. It's a better engineered system. Long story short, what it lets them do is not raise the ceiling because this camper is taller inside it's 81 inches tall not 78 but they've actually been able to lower the interior floor which means a lower center of gravity and better towing even though it has a larger interior space interestingly uh, interestingly last couple years j flights have been getting slightly lighter as they've found areas where they can be very intelligent on swapping one material for another like for instance they use all plywood rather than OSB. It's a superior product and it's also lighter. So you're getting a better built camper with a better built material. You're getting 30 pound propane tanks for 50% additional propane capacity as compared to Brand X out there, which often has 20 pound tanks. Big 28 footer uh, with a super slide, 6,891 pounds. That's awesome. You know, usually something this size, I would expect to see closer to 72 to 74. So they are taking a significant chunk of that weight out. Every window everywhere is going to open for ventilation. Huge windows in the slides for ventilation now. Windows in the sides of the slide, <coughs> pardon me, also open for ventilation to uh, give us a much better cross breeze situation here. And even the little bunk windows open. Uh, 18 gallon per hour water heater. It's gas and electric with a fast recharge. You see a roof ladder on the back here because this does have a truly walkable roof. Jayco's Magnum Roof Trust System is amazing. They use it here in their travel trailers they use it in their fifth wheels they use it everywhere they even use it in some of the motorhomes it is that good uh it's it's just a it's a bulletproof system that other brands have started to copy so not only is it good it's so good that it's worth copying um we like to add a spare tire where we can hopefully you never need it uh the bathroom entry door here is something that really just messes with first timers they're like why 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 do i have a door to the to the bathroom why is there a door that looks at the toilet and if you've never owned a camper, I probably ask that same question too. As a person who does camp, I look at this and say, "Oh, thank you. This is going to keep, uh, you know, my my kids and me from tracking dirt through the whole trailer because I can go straight here. You know, it's going to just eliminate a lot of that uh, hassle and headache and whatnot. And hey, you can always just deadbolt it. Don't worry about it. Um, the uh, the Furion speaker systems out here, even the speakers are superior on a J flight. It's a better grade. Um, Furion is the highest grade electronics really used in marine and RV applications. They're made to be shaken hard, uh, heated hard, frozen hard, and not fail. Speaking of uh, weather changes, this is an option, which is a good time to mention. Not every 28 BHB we have is going to be like this one, but they're probably going to be pretty darn similar. This tends to be how we equip our stuff. Maybe different fabric schemes, but remember the video might be different from what we have in stock. Always call or check our site if you're not sure. We take the time to express this. But speaking of cold, their thermal package. J Flights, when you add the thermal package, have a fully enclosed underbelly system here. Notice that your uh, underbelly enclosure is on top of that I-beam, not below it. 
That way there's no seams for critters to get in because over time that stuff might want to bow and if it bows down below the I-beam line then it's not sealed anymore and in Jayco it is. But not only is it uh, an underbelly enclosure but it also adds uh, a layer of um, double-sided astrofoil which basically looks like somebody put aluminum foil over bubble wrap. The stuff is an incredible insulator and they put that in the floor, the roof, even the slides. This even has insulated slides. Also, 100% LED lighting anywhere inside the trailer, even the baggage door compartment. And look at the size of this. It's huge. You can actually put big chairs and stuff in there. And I can't talk about a Jayco without talking about the fact that they have twice the warranty of anybody really in this class. I've seen a couple other manufacturers trying to tout a two-year warranty, but read the second year. Basically, it includes almost nothing that's expensive. Uh, you know, they're going to cover a couple of cabinets and stuff. They're not going to also cover, like, refrigerators and, and full-blown two-year warranties. Um, your little remote control, by the way, has this cool little holder right here. It's easy to get to. You don't even have to take it off. You can just push the buttons here. But you do also have a full control center right here. All your water heater controls are up as high as they can so that the little grandkids can't mess with stuff and break things. Uh, your awning light button is also right here. Now, uh, the other thing I like is that all of your interior lights are just on one big light bank right here. All of your uh, living room lights are all on one bank. They're all LEDs. If you want to just spotlight one off or on, that's all there is to it. So, uh, the interior scheme we're looking at here, this is called Cashew. That's the name of this decor. It's the, one of the most, if not the most, popular color scheme in a Jayco. Um, it's got a, a nice mid-tone um, leatherette look here with some nice light fabric accents. It goes really well with the new flooring they're using in these. Man, is that sharp looking flooring. They're using better grade flooring in these Jaycos. Industry standard is bow floor, which frankly is still a very good product. Don't get me wrong. It has a two year cold crack guarantee. This is still though 50% better. This has a three year cold crack guarantee. They're using Shaw residential carpeting because it's very stain resistant. We've added the thermal package. Let me see if I can spot it here. There's that astrofoil I was telling you about. If you don't see this stuff in a slide out, then it's not insulated. If it's not insulated, then you just cut a 14 foot hole in the wall where all of your air conditioning and your heat is going. That stuff makes a difference. Now remember, it is taller in here. It's 81 inches tall inside, not 78. Three extra inches makes a big difference. We have the chance for a taller slide out now. We have taller bunks. We have bigger cabinets, so much bigger that they can actually add a shelf in there and double your storage space because of three extra inches. You're also going to get a bigger shower. That extra three inches also allowed them to put a bigger furnace in here. And above that, they could put a bigger uh, refrigerator. This is a standard eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer as opposed to a six. You don't have to pay extra to upgrade to an eight in a Jayco. That's just the standard. The stuff that's an upgrade in other brands is standard in a J Flight. Um, huge windows all the windows again open for ventilation the uh cool thing here they're kind of getting back to their roots a little bit if you look at like uh early 2000s campers you'd see these little storage totes all over the place and then they just kind of phased out now they're really starting to make a comeback in a lot of brands there and it's really cool because it's an easy thing you can use it like a drawer like you see here it's waterproof you can put the kids toys in it you can take them outside and hose everything down you can do anything you want with it um the uh, privacy factor here is also excellent in a Jayco because you have full nightshades as well as Lamber uh, Lamberkins and Valences to block everything out. Uh, the uh, double over double bunk thing showed up about two years ago and holy cow, it like redefined what a bunkhouse has to be. People started saying, if it doesn't have this, I ain't buying it. And for good reason. Now, again, this is a Jayco. Everything's a cut above. You're looking at Denver Mattress brand bunks. Look at the thickness of these compared to the other brands out there. And they are far more dense. Plus, they got this super comfy and very warm teddy bear covering on them. Um, now, Jayco builds their own ladders. They don't buy a ladder that goes in here. This ladder has way thicker planks. It's way stronger. So if the kids are horsing around and climbing up and down it, it's not going to fall apart. Not to mention the fact that it's safer. Uh, it's dumb little things I look for on these, like the fact that you have this little this, this little grill that opens up. When you get to your campsite, if it's really hot, flip that open. Bam! All your cold air goes right here in the living room. Now, once this cools off and the kids settle down, close, uh, close those and it'll start to run air through your entire central AC system. Um, apparently I bumped a light off in here. There we go. Um, so let's keep cruising through. Next to the refrigerator, we have just an awesome array of storage over here. Problem with a lot of bunks in modern times here 
as compared to classic campers is they have crap for storage and I say that scientifically that is a scientific level of crap for storage you are not going to have that problem here they're getting very conscious of that due to customer feedback and they're bringing storage back into trailers that just haven't seen it like this for years now this over here can either be a pantry or it can be additional shelf space for clothes. It can be whatever you need. You can easily sleep six, eight, ten people in here. You got to feed them. You got to keep their stuff. This floor plan can get that done, whereas a lot of others cannot. Speaking of privacy, we have a nice private rear bathroom here. Now, what has been one of the most interestingly critical and most demanded parts of the 28 BHBE floor plan from a lot of people is this giant rear mega shower. This thing's huge and has a nice fifth wheel shower enclosure. If you are so inclined, it is a shower that'll fit two people, but uh, you know, to each their own. Um, and again, this is taller. So I, I do like to point out that yes, in fact, uh, a tall person like me doesn't have to put my head in the bubble. I'm even on my toes and my head barely touches the roof in here. Also detail stuff, your sink, your medicine cabinet, it's on an angle like it's supposed to be. People don't think about that. I see other versions of this floor plan where the sink is facing this way. Well, I have to stand outside of the bathroom to do anything. I'm in the way. This is natural. This is organic. It does point out the biggest defect in this trailer though. This guy. I'm damaged. I don't know. I don't know why you people keep listening to me. <laughs> um, Big super slide here. Uh, so this this high to bed, or pardon me, this sofa. Geez, let me start again. <clears throat> Big super slide here, folks. This U dinette folds down into a seven foot bed. We've already talked about the storage under it. Now notice too, we don't just have a jackknife sofa like you typically find in a lot of other brands. This is a full, legitimate, true Denver mattress high to bed tri fold memory foam sofa. Only takes seconds to set up. Super easy. Way more comfortable than an inner spring, and no air mattresses to go flat on you. They've made their entertainment centers slightly deeper in these J-Flights to accommodate a little bit bigger shelves for more storage, and that is a welcome thing by me. Now, um, what's cool about this shoe garage down here is not what it is, it's what it's not. It's, it's, just, it's just nothing. It's open air. It gives you a spot to throw all your shoes so you don't have a big pile of them by the door. Because if you've had a bunkhouse, I bet you got a pile of shoes by the door. Either that or you got a pile of shoes outside the door, one way or the other. But I know you got a pile of shoes. Moms and dads, grandpas and grandmas, kids of all ages will recognize the timeout chair. Everybody knows that, but it is also a handy storage box. Good place for all the uh, grandkids' stuff, their toys and whatnot. TV here does spin. You can spin this TV around to service either the bedroom or the living room. You see that you've got the giant mirror on the back. They did fully finish this. That's what I like about it. They didn't cut a corner anywhere. Mom and dad have a privacy door. Notice how I can... Uh, this thing is mounted well. It does not fall out of place. You can get very friendly with that thing. A lot of cheaper brands have started eliminating overhead shelving. They say, look how big and open our bedroom is. Yeah, but where's my storage? My head's not going to hit that thing. I need the storage. Well, you get it in a, in a J-Flight. Both sides of the bed do have power outlets and huge stands so that you can actually you know, run your CPAP machines and whatnot. Uh, this side of the bed also has this cool little charging center right here, so it can do pretty much everything. Um, huge, huge underbed storage, super easy to lift up. Notice everything's plywood again, no particle board, no chintz, no, nothing cheap. Um, the linoleum actually goes all the way down through the entire thing. Everything is mounted on top of that linoleum, so it can't curl on the side. Um, also, just like the bunks, we do have, let me untuck this, we have a Denver mattress bed right here. It's way thicker. It's way thicker. It's got this extra two inches of pillow top on here. You know what? Is it is it a sleep number that you spent thousands of dollars on? No, but it's way better than the typical camper bed. So uh, there, there's a lot more to get into, a lot of construction and stuff I haven't touched on. Um, but, you know, give us a call, learn a little more. There's a reason we can't keep this model in stock. 800 256 5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camp.